everyone, I am Adena Pinto and I will discuss the component of nitrogen. First, nitrogen is a major component of protein and protein is a large component of fish feeds. The constant influx of protein means that nitrogen processing is critical to promoting healthy fish. Digested fish feed becomes waste that is excreted from the fish in the form of ammonia. Promoting nitrogen cycling through biofiltration rivals dissolved oxygen as the most important factor fish survival and growth in recirculating aquaculture. Ammonia is the second gas of major importance after oxygen. High ammonia levels in a body of water, either big or small, can result from overfeeding or protein-rich diet or excess feed decaying and releasing poisoning ammonia gas, which interacts with fish excreted ammonia and urea. Under some circumstances, other foreign waste may assemble in dangerously high quantities. Fortunately, nitrifying bacteria that can live on nearly and core substrate, such as rocks or oyster shells or plastic chips containing calcium carbonates can convert ammonia into the harmless nitrate ion, which can be converted to partially reduced or buffer ammonia concentrations. Ammonia is also changed into the harmless ammonia ion at a pH below 8 as long as pH is 8 or lower. Ammonia levels of up to 0.5 ppm will be safe. So the total ammonia refers to the amount of ammonia and ammonia ion present in the water. The levels within the following forms of ammonia are maintained for hatchery purposes like ammonia should be less than 0.1 ppm as ammonia nitrogen, while ammonia ion should be less than 1.5 ppm as ammonia nitrogen. So the total ammonia should be between 1 to 2.5 ppm. One method of removing ammonia from water is to use negatively charged mineral called zeolite. Zeolite can absorb ammonium ions from the water. It is relatively ineffective at high pH when the ammonia is unionized because ammonia nitrogen is mostly in the non-toxic ionized form. At low, pH at low pH already, zeolite may not be extremely effective at reducing toxic. Additionally, high hardness and salinity can use up all binding power of zeolite, making it ineffective for removing ammonium ions. When the ammonia level spikes quickly, the most effective way of reducing it is to perform a water exchange. It is important that the water used for this exchange has very similar temperature salinity and pH as the culture water with no ammonia present. Keeping a large head tank of water adequate to perform a 100% exchange of the water system will greatly decrease the risk of crop failure due to ammonia toxicity. Another component of nitrogen is nitrite. It is a form from the partial oxidation of ammonia by nitrifying bacteria called nitrosomonas under aerobic conditions or in the presence of oxygen. In different situations, example, when oxygen is not present, denitrifying microorganisms known as denitrificants reduce nitrates to generate nitrites. Waters may include nitrates which are normally present in low amounts because nitrites are easily converted to nitrates. For hatchery purposes, nitrate levels should be kept at 0.1 ppm as nitrite nitrogen or below. Nitrite enters the blood of fish across gills membrane where it combines with the oxygen current portion of red blood cells or hemoglobin to form a compound called methemoglobin which cannot carry oxygen. Methemoglobin has a brown color that imparts to the blood of fish suffering from nitrite poisoning. Nitrite poisoning does the name brown blood disease 
because nitrite interferes with oxygen uptake by the blood. Nitrite is usually not a problem if there are three or more parts of chlorides present in the water for every part of nitrite. Chlorides do not affect the amount of nitrite in the water, but prevent the uptake of nitrite by the blood of the fish. Chloride is the same electronegativity and approximately the same size as nitrite, and it can compete with nitrite for uptake in the blood. The addition of 25 ppm salt for each ppm nitrite has proven to be an effective treatment. A freshwater flush also is recommended to produce nitrites. Lastly, we will discuss the nitrate. It is the most frequent form of totally oxidized nitrogen. These are produced from nitrites by Nitrobacter, a type of nitrifying bacteria aerobically or in the presence of oxygen. This chemical material must not exceed a limit of 100 ppm. Nitrate is relatively non-toxic to fish. An acceptable level of nitrate for trout is below 250 ppm, whereas cut fish can tolerate 400 ppm nitrate. Daily water exchanges at 10% of the total system volume are standard practice in recirculating aquaculture to prevent the buildup of nitrate in the system. Because nitrate is the fully oxidized form of nitrogen, high oxygen levels must be maintained in all areas of the recirculating system to prevent reduction of nitrate back to nitrite or ammonia. Thank you.